failure. Everybody fails in life at something, probably lots of something sometimes. But what really is failure? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Beerman, and I'm so glad that you came by here today to join us for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. We begin every week in our Metaphysical Ministry, which, by the way, has to do with the fact that using only your five senses, you're missing out on 99% of the reality that exists. Because you can't hear, taste, smell, touch, or see most of what's out there. The space between the camera and me, it's not empty. And when you really understand how to expand your experience of life, which is all about metaphysics, then you get to witness so much more you get to make your life a much richer experience. We begin every week with a happy share. Now that's something that leaves you feeling happy. And I have some dynamite happy shares. So let's see. Okay, the one I'm going to share with you today is I've been doing these fantastic exercises. I've been doing them five weeks now. And I don't need to do the modified version anymore. I can do them full out and full on, which means my body's doing things, or I'm able to do things with my body that I haven't been able to do for many, many years because of that whole brain tumor episode. So I am extremely happy to share that with you. Now let's get back to this thing about failure. And what is a failure in business? Failure, in my opinion, is only a failure because you give up. See, everybody tries things and not all the things you try to do come out the way you want them to. And some people will say, oh, I failed. That's it. I'm not going to do this again. That's a failure. But what if instead you look and see, okay, what can I learn here? Hmm. This didn't work. Maybe I need to do a little more research. Maybe I need to change the angle of the research. Maybe I need to take a step in a different direction. Do something new and different. So when you're learning from what didn't work, how can you call that a failure? Thomas Edison found 10,000 ways not to invent a light bulb. He didn't fail. He just found ways that didn't work and kept going until he found the way that did work. Now, what would cause somebody to actually fail as in, um, throw it in the towel, done, over with? There are two kind of fears that would cause that. One would be a fear of failure. And what happens when you focus on something? Anything you focus on gets bigger and more real in your life. So if you have a fear that you're not going to succeed, guess what you're going to cause to happen? You're not going to succeed and reach the outcome you want. But there's another kind of fear that stops people. It's a fear of success. Because what happens when you succeed at something? People have higher expectations of you. They expect a better quality of whatever it is that you're producing. And they expect you to be consistent. They expect you to put in the extra effort to make that better result happen more often. So if you see something going on where you're not succeeding in your life, up and ask yourself, am I afraid of failing or am I afraid of succeeding? And if so, what are you going to do about it? Well, Maxwell, John Maxwell wrote a book called Fail Forward Fast. And what's that about? It's about you do something that doesn't work, 
you do it differently. You do it differently until you reach the desired outcome. And how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you've got a failure going on in your life, in your business, take a good look around. Your relationships, your personal life, your health. you got failure going on all over the place. So stop, take a look, see exactly what the fear is, and then take steps to change it. Nothing's going to change by itself. You need to recognize what's going on for you, and then you can change it. Now, if you're on our ministry page, you look up there, you'll see all the space for. There's something not in your life that you really want to be part of your reality. Let us know what it is. And I'll put it up on that page. You come back here at least once a week. You tell all your family and friends to come back. Read every name and the request on there. And that way, the request you're putting out to the universe that's a little thought form, it gets bigger and bigger each time someone reads your name in the request. And it doesn't matter if you don't know who any of the other people are. Because the universe knows. If you haven't done so already, go on over there. You give me your name and email. I'll give you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. And I really appreciate your clicking like and share. Build our community because the more people who think like you do, the easier your life is going to be. I wish you a wonderful week filled with many blessings of recognizing where there might be a failure and how to turn that failure into your education and move on with your life.